Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do the video that finished in first place, top spot in our Patreon poll of the week. Surprise, surprise, Halloween with their new single, Skyfall. I'm not shocked at all. The moment I put that list together and I mm -hmm. threw this one into the mix, I knew 99.9% .9 sure that this video was going to win. Now, for you and for those that are not aware, this is the single edit. Means means that it's been cut down ever so slightly, perhaps more than just slightly. The original, I believe, is around 12 minutes, 13 minutes, maybe even longer than that. So they trim it down for the single release, yeah, which I can understand it. Yeah, because usually your first single for a new album is not like 11 minutes long. Depends. If every song is freaking 15 minutes, then, then 11 minutes is what it, it is. It's just the is. shortest out of all the... It is what it is. It's just that you have to look at it from a perspective of of uh, marketing yeah. and playability, yeah. right? Playability on like... Uh, radio and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like if you're trying to reach out to radio stations to play your new single and you're offering them a song that's like 12 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes in length, it makes it really tough for the radio to get your song played because you're taking away almost three songs in one song spot, right? So it, it, it's going to be difficult for the DJ to push your song and to push your song a lot. Like, you know, they may play it once here, once there, whatever, but they're not going to be playing it on high rotation because yeah. of of the length. So because of that, I'm thinking, I don't know, but I'm thinking because of all of that, they try to trim it down and make the song a little bit more radio friendly. Yeah, I feel like seven minutes is good on... Uh, yeah, I think seven minutes I think I seven you minutes can get is, away with it. Is the max you can actually get away with. Yeah, I think when you start pushing around the over the eight minute mark, it starts to become a little bit more difficult from, yeah. a, from a radio perspective, not from the fans of the band. The fans of the band don't care if the song is eight minutes, 15 minutes, they're going to listen to it. But from a from a marketing perspective, yes, I agree with you. All right, so Skyfall, single edit, Halloween, new album around the corner. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right.
Can I go first? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say I could go for the extended one now. Oh, me too. Like I actually now I really want to listen to the extended one uh, because I, I wanted to see what what the hell did they cut out of here and how more how how how, how the levels of epicness would grow even further yeah. with with more of it. Uh, man, now I'm I'm thinking like we we got uh, the short end of the stick, if you will, with this with this edit version because. My God, man, this is absolutely epic. I mean, if they trim this down, I'm sure they still cut away some stuff that we could really go for. Yeah. You know? Uh, wow. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. How, how do we even cut it down? How, like, how do you decide what you can live with and what you can live without? After you make the whole song, yeah. I, I think that that's that's almost an impossible task. To ask, to, like, if I was the musician, I made the song, 
Now you're asking me to cut this down. Like, how oh, am I going to cut this? Like, what am I going to take out? Exactly. But anyways, can I go first? Yeah. Uh, did you notice? I, I'm, I'm, first, I'm going to mention a couple of things about the video, and then we get into the song. Uh, about the video, nice. Uh, first of all, the graphics were really cool. They kind of reminded me like of a... Of Star, a Star Wars? Star Wars, but like a game, like a gameplay, like a PlayStation game oh, kind yeah. of thing. It kind of reminded me of that. The girl on her backpack, she had a pumpkin on it. A logo of a pumpkin oh, on it. I didn't see that. Yeah, she had it on it. Like when she's like leaning down, like on one knee, looking over the crash site. On her backpack, there's the the pumpkin logo is on it, which is kind of cool. That's like a little, a little nugget, yeah. if you will. Same thing when the when the spaceship crashes, the pumpkin shows up on the on the display pad as like it starts circulating on the. No, display. I saw that one. Oh, but you didn't see it on her backpack. I see it on her backpack. It was on her backpack. Uh, the other thing, what about the spaceship? Flying oh, V. I, w I was gonna say. Like, oh, you, you get that flying V? Yeah. Like a space. I mean, that, that's incredible. I, I was gonna say, where is the spaceship in Star Wars? I need these guys to be like implemented into the storyline. They, they have to be the rebels. Definitely. I mean, if you, if your spaceship is a flying V, you 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 gotta be part of the rebels. Yeah. You know what I mean? So absolutely the incredible. Best spaceship ever. Greatest spaceship of all time. Let's just put that out there. Then one more thing I want to say about the video is the nice little nod to Hangar 18 from Megadeth because it gets mentioned quite a bit and when the plane ship crashes and, and he goes to rescue the alien, the alien supposedly is in Hangar 18. So that is kind of like a nice little... That. You didn't notice that? No. It's mentioned twice. The, the words Hangar 18 is mentioned twice, I believe, in the lyrics and you can see them showing up as H-18 uh, when uh, Iron Man... I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going with Iron Man. When Iron I was Man so shows sad, up, though, because I thought I thought his face would uh, glow and be green, kind of like the pumpkin face that they have. So it would be Iron Man, but the face would be the pumpkins. You know, the, uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're the saying. Jack oh, that, that would be that would that's, be epic. I mean, that was a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. In, in the greatness were, of this video, that's they a were, missed opportunity. They really went with a generic face for the. the yeah, movie. I agree with you on that. I think that that would have been absolutely. Also, the landing was very Iron Man too. Everything about Everything it. was so iron. But when like, he goes to rescue the alien, I, I'm, I'm assuming this has a little bit of like a, has a little bit of a Roswell feel to it, right? Because the whole Hangar 18 and stuff, I just thought it was kind of cool that they give that Megadeth nod there to Hangar 18 because he goes to rescue the alien. The alien is like in this, in this place and then they go through the maze and everything like that. So I thought that's, that was nice. Last thing I want to say about the visuals is what a cool bass guitar that looks like a pumpkin. Oh, yeah. And... Oh. What about the guitar? I was going to say, white the other white guitar that looked like a harp. Yeah, it had like the... it had that thing. I don't think I've ever seen a guitar like that in my That's life. That's how you make a guitar easy to carry. You just grab it by that <laughs> and you walk. <laughs> that, I, you I, don't I, need a case, you just grab it by that I think that's walk. the whole point of it. It's just you can grab it like that and just walk with it. But I thought that was cool. But then when I saw the pumpkin bass, I was like, that that's really cool. I mean, the two is like... Which one is the coolest? Yeah. I, I'm not quite sure which one is the coolest. I also really like the camera angle on the drummer. It oh, was yeah. from underneath here and you can see the, the Pearl logo on, on the drums. And it has almost like a spaceship uh, commander vibe. Like like he's in the in the he's cockpit. In the, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the commander station. Like if you're watching Star Trek, that kind of feel where you have the big screen in front of you and, and you're bossing everybody around. It kind of had that vibe to me and I really enjoyed that camera angle. I thought it added... It added to the whole sci-fi vibe that the video had. So now, with that, all of that being said, the song. I'm going to let you go. F you want me to go first? And you, and you kind of uh, type you it go type first. All right. So the song. Let's break it down. The music and the vocals. The guitar playing on this track, not that I was expecting anything less, but I don't know. This is a band that has that old school sound flavor to it, but at the same time, they, they pick up all of these modern influences and they find a way of making those two worlds become their world the guitar playing the solos on this th that's why now i'm kind of like what do they cut Bec i hope it wasn't solos oh, uh, definitely. if it's solos cut. somebody's getting sued yeah someone's getting cut somebody's gonna lose their job if if, if solos were cut from this version the guitar playing in general it was solo after solo but i think my favorite solo is when it showed the guitar that i like the, the harp guitar, and he was doing the solo. I think that was that not my favorite one. I think my favorite was... one is the one where he goes like over the top. Oh, oh that one. The sound that that, not just the style, but the sound that that solo I had. Visually, I really like the one 
Yeah, the... you're you're now you're in love with with that with that style. I don't know how comfortable it is. Oh, though. it's probably not that comfortable. <laughs> it Unless doesn't... he puts his arm on the inside sometimes to do like how, the, how do you, how do you do that? Like I don't know. Like that the the whole guitar seems very uncomfortable. Yeah. To play with, but anyways, and it's just all for show, I guess. Yeah, I think it's more for the for the looks. I, I'll just say this: the guitar playing in general on this track. Pun fully intended is out of this world, out of this world. The solos, the dynamic between one and the other, the the changes, the you know the the tempo changes, but the structure changes that the song has. The the guitars are kind of like leading uh, the, the way. At, at times they feel almost like like horses, like a stampede of horses. Is absolutely incredible. I, this is now. I'm really like. I have to listen to the full version because what the hell did they cut? Yeah. And I hope it's not guitar playing. And I hope it's not singing. And I hope it's not drum. They cut something and I'm not happy with it. You know what I mean? I have to go check the what full they version. Because I hope it's not any of the shit that's I hope in it's, the band. I, I hope they cut like a long intro and um, a long outro. Like, and by intro, I mean like a spaceship sound yeah, or like or ambiance, like or, ambiance or like a robot talking or, or an alien yeah, or two, whispering. Two walks in like... Some, something like that. Yeah. You know, like Leia saying, you know... Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. If they cut stuff like that, I'm totally fine with it. But I hope they didn't cut any of the actual goodies, if you will. So the guitar playing, phenomenal. I love the drums. I love the drum sound on this the, track. Uh, I, we're talking about so much. I love the dual vocals. Triple. The, the Triple vocals, sorry. But there was the dual vocals at the end oh, there. When they were doing it, the at, duet together, at the end, that was it, incredible. Oh, I love that. They really complement... The, 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 they're different. But they but still yet, have they some have, similarities. Yeah. So, so the, the how they complemented each other made the song feel so robust. It gave this extra life. It was almost like it felt like you had a choir, even though there was no choir there. So I really like that element as well. I love the drum sound. The, they have this, like it's filled with life. They don't sound hollow. They don't sound empty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they sound like they have life in them. And that's how I want my drums to sound, specifically on a track that's this bombastic. The bass had a couple of moments where it came through in the mix, like it wasn't like part of, of the ambiance, if you will, that the bass kind of jumped into the forefront and you could hear it a little bit, and I really enjoy that. For a song that's this bombastic, I don't necessarily want to hear the bass too much in the forefront because I think it slows things down a little bit, but the times that they use it was in parts of the track that, that you could get away with it and add a little bit of, uh, I don't know, je ne sais pas, this, um, I don't know. Um, this song is making me speak French. Uh, it's it has in real French, not just a yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's just it gave a little a little flavor. Overall, I love this track. If this is the first taste of the upcoming album, I'm sold. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm totally I'm totally down for for it. And new I think album. it gets everyone who watches this the motivation to go listen to the extended version. I, I think that's the other aspect because you know that there's more there's to more it. to it. You watch the video. You listen to this song, and now it's like, okay, now I'm gonna buy it on iTunes or, or listen to it on get on the, Spotify, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the full thing. Yeah, this is just like feels like an appetizer. Yeah. If anything, you want to compare notes. Actually, this is like almost the full main course, and then the extra five minutes. It's they that cut cheesecake out. at the end. It's that cheesecake at the end. Yeah. <laughs> when you go to Swiss Chalet, that cheesecake exactly. at the end. I know it's a slim it's slim pickings these days. It used to be a big slice. Now they're trimming it down. I guess they're looking after our own weight, even though we're not asking for their help. But it is what it is. All right, guys. Anything else you want to add? I, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied, too. I'm satisfied. All right. On that note, guys, come back tomorrow. But before you come back tomorrow, let us know your thoughts on this song, on the edit version, full version. I, want, I know everybody's saying, why did you guys listen to this? Why not the full one? Because this one had a music video. We decided to go with this one. So uh, don't shoot the messenger. Shoot the message, if you will. I'm, it's not my fault. They're the ones that came up with the idea of cutting this shit down. That's true. So, you know, send all the hate mail to, to the band. Uh, but let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.